Hello and welcome to this edition of Mobile Tech Videos. I'm Josh, also known as Connection2005 from the XDA forums. Today we'll be talking about what it means to install the SDA, SDK tools and uh, just a couple of generic uh, <coughs> definitions of what people are talking about when they say, do you have the tools, are you using the tools correctly, and things like are you even uh, changing directories to the tools path when in a command prompt. Uh, this should solve a lot of questions with people always wondering what it means if they have the tools or how to install the tools. So without further ado, here we go. Uh, go ahead and open up a search prompt. And in Google, you can type in Android SDK tools download. The first link should be it. It's developer.android.com slash SDK. We'll click it. And then from here, we should have the Android SDK zip file be the top one right there. Go ahead and get you a closer shot of that. Go ahead and click that to download it. We've already got ours, so we'll go back out. On my desktop, I have the files. You need a WinZip or WinRAR to open these. Anything that accepts a .zip file. Uh, obviously so a lot of this is native functionality in Windows so what we have here is we have our package the zip opened here and then we've got a my computer prompt open here we're gonna browse to the C drive and uh, wherever you can really put these wherever you want my recommended location is the root C uh, so go ahead and drag or extract would be the term you use these files into the root C and let go and as we can see here we've started to to extract them once that finishes we can close our our zip program and I'll do a refresh here so they populate we've got the Android SDK Windows files right here well one of the most popular commands to use with uh, the SDK cool SDK tools and the phone is the ADB command by default that tool is not available uh, with the, the standard download. So we'll need to launch our SDK manager here. So we'll double click that and that will launch. Let me get a little better view of that. Okay. And it will load up this menu right there. And we'll see all the options that we have to download for SDK tools. Now we are going to go ahead and only choose the Android SDK platform tools which includes the ADB uh, EXE and a, a lot of other things. To uncheck these just go down the row and double click them. They'll change from green checks to red X's and go back and highlight Android SDK platform tools. Make sure it says accept and install. Obviously you need an internet connection to do this uh, which you should have if you just download the tools. So it will completely install, and then you'll get a prompt for uh, ADB needing to restart. Say yes. That will take a short amount of time, and the daemon has started successfully. So we'll close, close that, and close that as well. So now we have this new directory called Platform Tools, and voila, we've got our ADB, which is pretty much... I mean, for most users, that's the only thing you're really going to use as it contains nearly everything you could want to do with the phone without having to develop Android applications. Uh, so what we're going to do here, this is just something I like to do. I don't like these being in the platform tools. So what I do is I cut them, do I highlight them all, do a control X, and I drop them in the tools directory and merge for the changes by go ahead and moving and replacing and saying yes to, to the merge option and then I, I put them in the tools directory so now we have all those in our tools directory and that means that when we're changing directories within a command line to access the phone we don't have to go that extra level in the to platform tools as it's, it's a harder line to type since it has a dash in it and um, there's another platform folder so it's just something I like to do so now to test to make sure that we've really got this up and running let's go ahead and open uh, a command prompt. We have Google Desktop, so we'll get to it like that. Otherwise, just click Start in the search option, type in CMD, and press Enter if you're in a Windows machine. 
Uh, from here, we want to plug in our phone. Before we do it, though, put your phone in USB debugging mode by turning it on. So we'll allow that to turn on for a moment. And uh, once the phone is completely plugged in, while it's booting up, we're going to go ahead and switch directories to where the tools uh, tools are. So as you'll remember, we put those, we'll type cd for change directory, we put those in the root C, Android, and you can press tab and it will fill out the rest, and backslash tools. We'll press enter and we'll type in a dir to confirm that the ADB is there, and of course if we go up, we'll see it right there. So there's our ADB. Okay, now our phone has booted back up. We'll unlock, click the bottom left button, then click settings, then click applications, development, sorry about that, development. Make sure the USB debugging is checked. If it isn't, check it, say OK when it asks, and that's all you need to do. So now we'll plug in our phone. Of course, be sure you have your drivers installed, which you should if you're already looking at SDK functionality. So we'll plug in. And we'll type in ADB devices. Now what this does is run a command that verifies connectivity with your phone. If you're connected, you'll see your device listed along with its device ID. If you're not, then you have an issue. Uh, this is something real basic that you want to do before you run any ADB commands as it'll verify that yes, your computer sees your phone. So you press enter and boom, we've got a list of our devices along with the device ID attached. So that is how to install your SDK tools for basic functionality using ADB commands. So now in the future when people talk about doing this, even when I talk about doing this in my other videos, you'll know exactly what to do and how to get that up and running. So I appreciate you for watching. As always, check out my other videos. Check out the forums that I'm on, such as XDA Developers, Android Central. There's a couple others. And uh, as always, good luck.